Well, I've seen some uh, that you've converted a, a few vans into mm -hmm. various. You did one for Nike, if I remember. Right. Yeah, we did the van for Darren from Nike Golf. That was about two years ago, and he comes in every once in a while and wants stuff done. So, you know, the van business is not what it used to be 10, 15 years ago. Um, it used to be you go to a dealership and the conversions are all over the place, and people, you know, people have gone from the van to the SUV has really taken over that business. So when I opened up, that was one of the things I wanted to do is kind of go toward that SUV, and now everybody's going to that little crossover type vehicle. They still want to accessorize them. You know, that's, that's the thing. Everybody wants their truck or their SUV a little cooler or more unique than the other guys. So come in you know and that's that's what I like to do I like to take people's ideas and bring it to a completed thing that they really like and I like to see the excitement in their face you know they have an idea they want something it's my job I, I look at it as like it may sound funny but an assistant purchasing agent I'm assisting them in making purchases on items they come for me for information I don't know about plasma TVs so I go ask the guy at Best Buy or good guys I want to learn about it and that's what a lot of people do they come in they just want to gather information, and I let them make their decisions. That sounds like fun, actually. It is kind of fun. Yeah. It's challenging, it's time consuming, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. yeah, you know, you're driving through the highway in Oakland, you go, hey, there's Jim Smith, I did his truck six years ago. My wife goes, how do you know that? I go, I don't know, it's Jim Smith's truck. It's, you know, it's his unique thing. So everybody likes their vehicle a little bit different, um, you know, and that's the thing. And coming in, some people want things that just, they want, they want their truck to be unique, different than everybody else's. So you got to kind of think outside of the box and... That's probably even more so now in the SUVs because, you know, so many of those just look alike, right? Yeah. You know, trucks, it's interesting. I, I read a lot of studies and the average person in the first year of ownership that buys a new truck puts between eighteen and $2,800 worth of accessories on that truck. Wow. Be it a camper shell, steps, dash mat, I mean, there's bug shields, window shades, um, a little bit of everything, trailer tow, fifth wheels, goosenecks, airbags, a little bit of everything. So. You know, I, uh, truck sales are down, but we still see a lot of those people, and there's nothing better than somebody coming in the door with brand new dealer plates on their truck, as you know, that's probably going to be a good sale. And the big thing is you take care of the customer. You take care. You do what you say you're going to do. You don't lie. You give them a fair price. You service them. When they leave, they're happy. That's your best form of advertising. They're going to come back to you. They're going to send their friends back to you.